Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Elric Ferris, your host here on Tech of Tomorrow. We're going to be showing you guys a first unboxing and features look of a brand new motherboard from the people over at ASUS. Now, this is a pretty cool product. This is the P8 V77V Pro motherboard. Now, they have three motherboards that are in their basic stack. It's the entry-level V, the Pro, and then the Deluxe. This is the mid-level board. We're going to be doing that right now, so let's check this bad boy out. <laughs> All right, folks, so first off, let's just take a look at the outside of the box. We see some of their features. Take a look down here, we see some more. These are some of the things that are actually specific to this motherboard, probably specific to all of the boards that are coming out on this stack. Virtue MVP, great thing for graphics. We'll get into that, we unbox the board. Flip it around real quick, just show you guys the back of the board. Dual intelligent processors via the EPU and TPU switches. USB BIOS flashback. Now, this USB BIOS flashback is something I think is actually really cool. With this, you can actually flash the BIOS of your motherboard without having any parts on it whatsoever. All you have to do is plug in the 24 pin power connector, slap this thing in the USB port, and away you can go to up your motherboard BIOS. I think this is really cool to be able to flash it this way. Wi Fi to go allows you to control this computer or another computer back and forth so you can like be in the kitchen on one computer and play your music or videos completely controllable on another computer in another room. Really cool stuff. Lucid Logic Virtue MVP. This allows you to use any combination of video cards, be it Crossfire, SLI, or in combination with the onboard graphics of the new HD 4000. Fan Expert 2. This allows you to totally control all of your fans, customize them. You can name them what you want, do whatever you want. We actually have a video about that over on motherboards.org if you want to check that out. Now let's actually get into the unboxing. I'll pop the cap. So here's we open the box. We can see the motherboard. It's in a nice anti-static bag. We're going to go ahead and just pull that off to the side. Go ahead and look at all of the content of the motherboard. So I'm just going to pull this aside, do one piece at a time. We'll start out with these two pieces right here. This is the Wi-Fi Go. All of the motherboards in Asus is a stack on the new Z77 launch have Wi-Fi on every single motherboard all the way up. Plus, they have the same features for overclocking as well, so you're not getting a sacrifice in any board in the stack for overclocking. It's just other specific features. Just go ahead and bop that off to the side. Two SATA cables, one SATA 3, one SATA 2. Go ahead and set those down. Here is the external breakout box. Let me go ahead and just, folks, just go ahead and just pull this completely out of the package for you guys. So here is a little breakout thing. We have eSATA and USB on this. Go ahead and just set that down. Move on. We have one crossfire cable. Go ahead and just set that down. The rear I.O. This rear I.O. is completely really well done. Everything is nice and clean on it. Go ahead and open it up. Let you guys folks see that. All right, we'll continue to move on. All our Q quick connect little connectors right here. This is for hooking up everything really quickly inside your case. Cool stuff. Set that down. We have the P8Z77V Pro user's guide and manual right here. And then finally the CD and case badge. So all this stuff you see on the table right here. This would be the content or bundle depending on what review you're looking at. And that's right there. Now, I'll go ahead and get that out of your way, folks. We can move on and see the motherboard itself. So, okay, here we have the motherboard in its anti-static bag. I'm going to go ahead and pull the motherboard out. I'm going to go ahead and turn the board over, and we're going to start on the rear I.O. Now, this particular rear I.O., it's not much different at all than we saw on the standard V board. The big difference comes when we go to the deluxe board. On this board, we still see combination legacy PS2 and keyboard mouse. We have two, four USB 3.0 connectors on the back of the board. Standard USB 2.0 there. For our video connections, we have DisplayPort, HDMI, DVI, standard VGA. We also have optical sound here. Over here, we have the analog sound connectors. This board features the Realtek chipset. 
Right here is our RJ45 LAN. This is the Intel LAN port. It works with the new iControl, which allows you to custom set your packet values. So if you want it for gaming or you want it for downloading videos, you can custom set up those perimeters in your liking. So let's flip the board around, let you guys get a good look at the front of the board right here. Now, one of the very first questions that people are gonna ask you, they're gonna ask you, hey, what's the difference between the Pro and the entry level board? Well, the Pro board, it has more USB ports, has more USB 3.0 ports. So if you have a need for a lot of USB 3.0 ports, that's one of the biggest changes between the Pro and the standard board that you get entry level. Let's start out at the very top of the board and let's start off with power. Here we see the first eight pin power connector located right here to the left of the ZIF socket. The 24 pin power is located over here on the right hand side of the motherboard. Another difference between the Pro and the V motherboard is that this motherboard has six fan controllers on it. The other one before had five, this one has six. The first two being located here above the ZIF socket, which is perfect for perfect connectivity. There are additional two over here to the right side by the 24 pin power connector. We have another one over here down and below to the left of the ZIF socket. And then we have our sixth one being located down here at the bottom of the motherboard. This is the LGA 1155 ZIF socket. It's for all of the new second and third generation core CPUs from Intel. It'll fit all of the Sandy Bridge and all of the Ivy Bridge processors that'll soon be coming out. For cooling, everything is completely cooled passively. You can see all the MOSFETs and components. Everything is nice and completely cooled off. As well down here, the dual intelligent processors are both the EPU and TPU. Here's our memory. This board can use up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Right over here is the mem OK button or mem to go button. I'm gonna bring that around so the camera can get a little close up right there. This little button's located right here. You click that button. So say that you get some memory and that your motherboard doesn't quite recognize it and you put it in there, it's too high speed or something. You click the Mem OK button and it makes it go. It makes your system boot up and use that memory. Also, if you're overclocking and you don't want to have to go and reset your entire BIOS, you can just click this button and just clear those particular settings. So spin the board around again. Let's start off now with the PCI support. We have one, two, PCI times one lanes. And then we have one, two, three PCIe lanes. Now these will be running at 16, eight, and four, or eight, eight, and four. Also two standard PCIe slots as well. Now, as far as SATA support goes, this motherboard has both the Intel and ASMedia controllers on it. It supports both the SATA 2 and SATA 3 standards. Now let's talk about additional USB support. We have one, two, three, four additional USB 2.0 breakouts. And another thing that separates this board, once again from the V, is USB 3.0. There is one here and an additional one right here. So if you had a case that had the USB connectors on the front and had the cable, you could just put that 20 pin cable right in there and away you go. Pretty good stuff. Now let's talk about the EPU and TPU switches. Those are located right down here. JJ from Azu said that basically you can subscribe the TPU as if you want an instant 4.3 overclock, all you do is hit the TPU button and away you go. Now the EPU button, that is based for people who want to have their system running at standard mode, but would like to save electricity and save on power. Then you use the EPU switch. That's what that's for. So once again, let's take a whole shot of the motherboard. You can see it's based on the standard ATX form factor. Fit any mid-size or bigger case. Won't fit in a mini case, obviously. Let's just do a little spin around. Show you guys the back. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching the unboxing and first features look to the new ASUS P8Z77V Pro. Peace.